Hello. In this video, we're going to continue with our introduction to variables, specifically talking in terms of Python 3. So in our last video, we talked about how to um, declare and initialize variables. And remember, with, with Python, we have to give the name of the variable on the left-hand side, and then the value that's put in there is on the right-hand side. This, another term for this is called an assignment statement, because we're assigning a value into a variable. Now, I can actually pass these into the print function simply by doing this. I could do print name one. And if I run this now, and if I hover here, you can see that my active one is variable introduction, print out Paul. Because what the program does is it says, this is not in double quotes, so I know it's a variable. So let's take a look at what's inside that box. And now let's send that to the print function, which prints it to the console down below. But often we want to add some text along with the variable. So maybe you want to do something like this. And now I want to print the actual name after. Well, what I can do is I can put a comma after the quotation, and then I can put the variable name. And then what it will do is it will, it will actually generate a string with your name is, and then concatenate. And concatenate means put strings together. Um, concatenate name one in there, and we get your name is Paul. I could do something like print. Maybe I want to put the variable first. I could say name one comma is your name. So the, the, the critical idea here is that if I want to print out a combination of text with a variable, what I need to do is I need to make sure that I have a comma anytime I want to connect it to some sort of string text I'm going to put in there. So see how the comma is next to the quote? And the comma is next to the quote. I could do a combination. I could do your name is name one. So now notice I have text before that variable and afterwards. So if I run this now, your name is Paul, isn't it? Now you're going to notice something a little funny here. What, what you'll see is that it, it adds in this space after when it, so it adds in a space when it connects a variable to, to a text that you generate. So notice up here how it says your name is name one. I don't need to put that space in there because it auto generates it. It gets a little funny with formatting when you want to put a variable next to a punctuation. And we'll look at how to solve that problem in a later video. You can do the same thing with, with any type of variable. Because what, what Python will do is that when you, it's going to evaluate what's inside the brackets first and make a general string to pass in. So if I do something like the number is num1, and I run this, Oh, I forgot my comma, pardon me. What Python does is convinced, converts all of this into a string and then passes it into the print function, which tells the computer how to print it to the screen. Your number is 89. Now, a good thing to kind of keep in the back of your mind here is that when you print something on the screen, you can tell if it's an integer or a float depending on if it adds decimals or not. So watch this. So I'm going to take this line and I'm going to paste it twice. So I'm going to print out both of my float numbers, fnum1 and fnum2. And you see how even though the second float is, is 45.0, it actually includes that 0.0 on here? That tells me something about the variable type. And there's all sorts of little subtleties you'll develop as you continue to program. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to post them or send me a message. Have a wonderful day.